Welcome to another episode of Wine Still of the Week, where I go find a bottle that is under $20 that's punching above its weight class. Hey, what up everybody? This is Jay Tonk Hunter. Welcome to another episode. Uh, as you can see, there's wine in my glass. And you know we're going to be doing a review today, of course, because that's the name of the game here. Um, I can't wait to show you guys this still. Hope everybody's having a wonderful week. This has been a good week. I'm, I'm, again, you see me smiling. I'm in a good mood. i got a lot of stuff going on that's finally coming to fruition. So ready to um, ready to share that with you guys, hopefully by next week. And um, yeah, it's the California weather is weird. Like It just doesn't know what it wants to do. Some days it's like nice and sunny outside. The next day it's rainy, overcast, and that's kind of... Um, how it's been the last week for us. So anyway, uh, it doesn't matter when you have a good bottle of wine to drink, and I definitely have one here today. Uh, today we're talking about Concentric uh, Petit, Petit Sirah uh, out of Lake County, California, a little bit more northern than uh, Napa. Um, this is their Reserve Petit Sirah. Um, if you do not know about Petit Sirah, it has is no relation to Syrah itself. Uh, sometimes it's referred to as Darif in certain areas in the in the world. Um, they tend to be a little bit more medium plus to full body wines. And um, I can't wait to get into this because I love Lane County and I don't think it gets enough eyes on it as, as it should. So um, again, in California, you have a lot of different wine regions. And this is just one of the ones that I really, really dig that people don't really look at too much. So anyway, let's get right into this. On the nose on this wine... So I get blackberry, I get black currant, I get some chocolate, some dark chocolate going on here. There's a bit of like a vanilla bean going on here too. I don't know if you guys remember those raisin nets. Um, they used to, we used to have like chocolate raisins. Um, that's definitely what I'm pulling here. I'm getting like this kind of chocolate raisin raisin thing going on. A bit of cinnamon, probably from the time it spins in oak, along with that vanilla bean that I was catching earlier. Kind of like a dusty uh, raspberry going on here too. Kind of like a cure royale, royale thing, like you know how you throw that that alcoholic uh, drink that uh, not I shouldn't say alcoholic drink, but that uh, mixed uh, drink, mixed beverage cocktail uh, cure royale. I'm kind of getting that here too. Let's go ahead and taste and see how everything's translating to the palate. This is really, really nice. Um, so people who like jammy wines, you're going to like this wine because it's definitely jammy up front. Um, that t tend to, tends to not normally be in my wheelhouse, but I will tell you, this finish is dry. So I can deal with some jammy when there's a fin dry finish. A clean finish is not clawing at all. Um, nice grip on the finish. This is very, very good. This is, uh, the blackberry is kind of dancing all over my palate from the beginning to the end. You're getting a little bit more of that, uh, kind of like the red raspberry thing going on, but it's a little bit dusty and earthy in the mid palate to the finish. Kind of this kind of wet, sweet soil thing going on here. Um, along with the fruit, along with the raspberry. It's like this, uh, and I was talking about this before. Um, sometimes it comes out in Petit Sirah. Uh, this kind of uh, pencil shavings, old school pencil shavings thing going on on the back of my palette. Like, you know, the old school, like you know, when you had to like the crank, the kind of pencil sharpener to kind of uh, sharpen your pencil. You got this kind of smell of like um, uh, pencil shavings. I'm catching that here. Uh, I caught it on the nose. But I'm definitely catching a little bit of that kind of like graphite thing on the finish.
talk a little bit more like about structure. This is a medium bodied wine, medium, medium plus, medium, medium plus bodied wine. Um, acid is, acid is actually, it's there, it's medium. I thought it was going to be lower than that, but now that I let the air get in and my mouth's watering, I'm getting like medium acid here. Medium to medium plus acid here. Alcohol, I believe, is a little, maybe a, a, a touch up there. Let me see here. 14.8. So it is it is uh, rather high on the alcohol, not overly, because the fruit does contain it very well. Uh, this is also coming from volcanic soil, so there is kind of like a real nice mouthfeel here. A little bit of a minerality, th cool minerality thing on the finish. Um, I really, really love this wine. I uh, picture this for people who love Zinfandels. If you're a big Zinfandel lover, um, this is a wine that you would love because this is a little bit more organized, a little bit more structured than a lot of the Zinfandels that I've had from that I've had in the past. Um, but beautiful wine, elegant. Um, this is a hell of a still. I would uh, highly recommend it. Where I got it at, uh, where you can take advantage of this still is I got it from Beverages and More Bevmo, and it was. 1995, so it's at a top end, but this is what makes this wine special. It is on the five cent sale, so you can get two bottles for twenty dollars. So it's, it's under twenty dollars. You're basically getting two bottles for the price of one, and it's definitely worth it. It's a hell of a steal. Um, go grab a bottle of it if you can grab more. Grab more. It's gonna be a fun wine for you. And I'm thinking about pork chops with this. Um, I'm also thinking with like a, a big, actually a filet mignon would go really, really well. Like that cut would go really, really well with this wine. Um, go grab it. So if I was to rate this Petite Syrah, this concentric, I would say it's probably like an 87 plus. It could be a little bit higher, um, I would think. And um, yeah, I like this wine. Other than that, um, I'm going to stay busy. Got a lot of stuff coming for you guys again next week. Um, just just released uh, my um, poetry book, um, Thieves in the Night. is available on Amazon if you want the soft cover or the uh, paperback. And if you want the digital, go to uh, grapesandsand.com um, and pick it up there. Um, I have the um, It's a Vibe, Armando Tam being the chef and me being in the song. We'll be dropping uh, hopefully next week, um, so stay tuned for that. And uh, other than that, guys, uh, question of the day. Uh, oh, this, this is a good one. So if you've had both, you know, Syrah and Petit Syrah, uh, remember, no relation. Uh, which one do you prefer, Syrah, Petit Syrah? Um, you guys have a wonderful weekend. And um, any wine questions, please hit me up in my DMs. Um, if you do buy a book uh, for the, the poetry book, please leave a, um, a review after you've read it. Uh, Till next time, guys. Cheers.